Today I want to talk about places of worship. They are there for you to communicate with beneficial spirits. Whenever a new church, temple, or any gathering place for spiritual guidance is created, spirits take a hand in the planning and construction of that site. And after that site is created, there are always a team of spirits on hand to help any human soul who enters to find peace and to have their prayers listened to and acted upon. Let's take this church so as an example. When I came into this church, I could feel the presence of spirits. Now, I'm not a medium, but I feel this tingling in my arms. I feel this energy when there are spirits around me. Now, maybe not all spirits, I'm sure I can't feel many, but when I'm in a, a church or a place of worship, I can feel, I feel the tingling in my arms. I feel the power. I feel me opening up. Let's go in here and see this for a little bit more. Let's turn around here for the church. Beautiful church. I'll show more of this in one moment. Spirits talking to the Reverend G. Vallon said, Don't underestimate the care that they take in the construction of churches and temples and any other places of worship. The symbolism is extremely important. Everything is shown in order to trigger certain memories and certain feelings and emotions within you as you enter that place. We can't forget the care that is taken by the spirit realm in our spiritual ascendancy. These places are there for us to learn, for us to feel the serenity, to feel that becoming more spiritual, loving, kind, and fraternal, honest person is worth every effort. Hello. Spirits have told the Reverend G. Owen that in any church or temple or place of worship, there are spirits who take care of it. And when you go inside, it makes you feel differently. You can feel the presence of spiritual power. They are there, they take care of it, they answer prayers, they, at least uh, they pass prayers on. It's very interesting. So there is a special spiritual power to places of worship. And the spirit world places special significance in their building, their construction, who is there, and how they raise money, everything. In fact, for the Reverend G. Val Owen, they made sure that his church was given some bells for his church. They actually helped organize. They picked uh, one of the uh, altar boys to help raise money. They helped them raise money through, of course, inspiration and other people giving to them. So all this information, yeah, I just wanted to tell you, so the spirit world is always deeply connected with us. But we are truly loved. We're truly taken care of. So if you feel a sense of stress, if you feel a a time when when you're worried and nervous step into a church you don't have to talk to anybody I I don't I just step in there many times I just sit down sit down open your mind meditate a bit see what inspires you so I want to thank you for being as part of my blog and if you'd like to learn more about Spiritism, please go to my blog, nwspiritism.com, and read my books. They're all in all in my blog. You can, you can get my introduction to Spiritism, Spiritism 101, The Third Revelation, for free on my Facebook site, Spiritism and the Spirit World Around Us. You can download it on PDF. Otherwise, it's just 99 cents on Kindle. So, And you can find all of Alan Kardec's books on PDF also, as you can also find them on the EDI-CDI bookstore. I want to say, God bless everyone. God bless.